Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! Pug... <laughs> Pugcast! Pugcast! Pug we talk about taken pugs. over. <laughs> Little non-breathing oh bastards. My god, it's way too early in this podcast to be screwing up. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, I'm Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg hey. from Radio and Ben from Northern TCG. Hello, sir. Might Lots be the only podcast ever that's ha- had just done an outtake in the first five seconds and just kept pumping along. I respect it, Jake. Oh, I wasn't I, cutting. I, I knew, tried to I go knew 100%, 100% I, was going to tell him to keep going. I knew 100% he wasn't going to edit it. That's why I pushed forward. <laughs> so, uh, much news to talk about. Uh, but first, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Brag. Uh, I just played Master Jewel in the airport. Ben. Jake's energy better maintained for most of this podcast. Absolutely I'm, not. I'm going to have to audio. Stun up high, baby. <laughs> and then we're going to crash and burn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the audio sync on this is going to be so fun. Uh, Don't I, you wish you were editing the start of it now? I apologize to everyone's ears. Uh, <laughs> this is going to take a bit of mixing. This is going to be rough. Um, my week in Yu Gi Oh! Tuesday. Uh, what did I play? Ah, I played Goblins. It went horrendously bad. Oh. Bad? Even after the changes to try and yeah, make it better? I just lost every game three. Ah. Uh, I lost every die roll and then lost every game three. It was like, yeah, it happens. Um. Today, I played, I did a retro flashback. Went all the way back to YCS 2017. Not the way you think. Not the way you think, yes. Uh, I played Exodia Stall, or <laughs> Life Gain Exodia. For uh, those that are familiar with the CPG lore, that was the deck that Ben had to take because he learnt, lent his deck to another person who yes. didn't come back to give it back to him. Yes. That's went, how Ben and I met. I lent my ABC deck away, uh, and then uh, my ABC deck did not return to me uh, before the event. Uh, so I played Exodia Stall. And then today I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it. And then a ban list dropped and I was like, you know what? Now I'm definitely playing it. <laughs> I'm not going to bother playing anything else. Um, deck was really fun to go back and play. But boy, oh boy, does it suck in the current meta. Um, and by current meta, I mean specifically the decks that I played today. <laughs> um, so I played my round one was against Generators which steals your back row, and also forces a discard of a monster in hand. So I lose. <laughs> um, so then we come around to round two, and I'm playing against DDD. Uh, he opened Perry map uh, all three games, mm. which halves his life points, meaning my hope for escapes just stopped working. I was like, okay, cool, awesome. <laughs> I won game one there, lost game two and three, um, and then round three was against Harry, who was playing Runic. Mm. which banishes your pieces off the top of your deck and you lose <laughs> so for and, that, a grand and he knows Exodia yeah or he knows Stall Exodia I think I played a grand total of 40 minutes today um, so <laughs> brisk um, yeah I, brisk I had a very brisk locals did you resolve Exodia yes nice. once 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 it's, far, it's a far cry from going 6-3 to YCS so 6-3 5-3 5-3 I think yeah it would have been 5-3 yeah um yeah, and that was my week. Uh, will I play something new on Tuesday? Yes. My week. Uh, so, uh, lately, locals, I have not been doing all that well. Um, I'm going to blame the sleeves, but realistically, it's the deck. I blame um, the sleeves. Mm. They're, very, they're very sticky. Why, are you not orange anymore? No, no, still orange. They're just, oh, they're just the old. same ones they're, from three months ago. That's not that old. Fuck you. Well, three months isn't that old, is it? Well, yeah. I mean, if you, if, you, if you do what you do. If you test hands months. as much as Jake. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I uh, felt like at some stages I was playing Red Resonator because those were the only cards I was opening. Every time uh, I looked over, you did have that continuous spell up on the field. Yep. As the only part of my engine that I consistently opened all day. Uh, yes. And, or well, actually all week. Uh, and because of that, I have bought new sleeves. Uh, I had intentions of buying new sleeves all week because I was like, once I get new sleeves, then I'll be able to build a new deck or at least re-sleeve this one, whatever I feel like doing. Then the ban list dropped and I was like, okay, uh, we fuck around for the next week and a bit. Uh, and then once a new ban list drops and once a new set comes out, then we build something proper. Because uh, there's a lot of change coming. Uh, but in Master Duel at least, still on Unchained, still having a lot of fun. Uh, I was sick of opening one of the bricks, so I took it out. And now I'm finding that it would be really helpful if I had that brick back in the deck for those random question, like random scenarios that comes up. So it's the duality of Master Duel. If you don't have it, you can't play it, but if you have it, you draw it, and it sucks. Mm. Yes. It happens. Uh, Side deck it. Yeah, yeah. 
One day. One day we'll get side decks in Master Duel. You just side an entirely different deck. <laughs> the side deck is a different deck. That was the, the rule for that event then. For that very it. first one, it yeah. was like, yeah, your side deck is every card in your catalogue. Uh, bring it back. Uh, yeah. So, starting with news, we start with the biggest news of the week, and that is obviously the TCG ban list that came out last night. You uh, were not starting with Master Duel news? <laughs> no, well, people want to talk about the ban list, that's fine. I don't know, Master well, Duel news is more important. Well, if you say so, we can get there. Um... I can't see the tab at the moment, so you're safe for, mo for now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this dropped at about 4 a.m. last night. Um, this morning? Oh, no, yes, last night. Mm. It dropped an hour ago. No, in an hour's time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got the secret envelope from Mr. Konami. Uh, uh, the main thing, <laughs> the one note yes. that... <laughs> the one note that it had on the top was like, don't hit snake eyes, and they're like... Okay. <laughs> if you say so, they're going to have to do something different. <laughs> and so, damn Jess stuff and not having Wi-Fi. I would have really loved this, just to read this like at the drop. But I, won't. I was unknowing, well, I don't know why, I was awake Same. for this time frame. Same. Since the daylight savings change, I've been waking up at 4 to 4.30 every day. Yeah. yeah. So I just like rolled over, checked my phone, there was a bunch of notifications. I was like, mm-mm. I didn't see them. Like, <laughs> I hopped up and was like... Why can't I sleep? Ah, oh, screw it. Check my phone. Check my phone. Just immediately see Leo being like, do not read any chats. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to check go. this other website. Yes. Um, so yeah, this one is coming to affect uh, two separate dates, not because of uh, what you think. So for North America and Latin America, it's coming into effect as of the 15th. So if you're in those regions listening to this, it's already in effect. I think that's how time zones work. Uh, yes. Yeah, we close. Yeah. Close it enough. will already be. Uh, but for everywhere else, uh, it will be coming into effect as of the 22nd. Uh, the reason that is is because I believe in Latin America they have a YCS coming up this weekend, so uh, I think it's just to give them time to fully adjust to the list. For, no, for, for us? Hmm? For us or for them? For them. They have a YCS this coming week, so yeah, the they list is middle, They gave them the middle finger. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they yeah. For us, it. they delayed it because we have an event next weekend. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they literally were just like... North America was like, balance out, it's there. And Europe was like, oh, it's a week later. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to, yeah, I want to know why I would very, there has to be, like, why would they screw America and not Europe? Well, not really screw. Some people might be begging for it, like, maybe they pushed it because they didn't think. They think that this might be better for the game. Who knows? It is weird, but when I first noticed the change in release dates, I thought it might have had something to do with the possible card coming back, but it doesn't. So let's get into it. Starting with the bands, uh, Link Rebo Band. Did they also just? Yeah, they've got the graphics. Yeah, I hate this graphics so much. Man. The fact that they posted them to Twitter and didn't update the website, fucking hell. Yeah, it pissed me off so much. It's not great. Maybe they don't have the two different dates ability on that. So it's almost like you have two different websites. I couldn't figure out how to get to the North American website. Unless I was just always on the North American website and in trying to get to Europe, just shit the bed. You got a quick little flag. Since they updated the website, the yeah. website's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, whatever. Uh, so yeah, Link Rebo is banned. Uh, Baron de Fleur is banned. Borrowed Savage Dragon is banned, and Summon Limit is banned. Floodgate gone! I'm not celebrating too hard because it gets worse. <laughs> yeah. I hate, um, I hate control. So, Link Rebo Summon Limit were ones that I suspected might get hit. Link Rebo admittedly was a bit stray at the time. Everyone sort of questioned why that should go, but here we are. Um, so, it takes an extra material off Snake Eyes as well as stopping some of their later game shenanigans of being able to dodge stuff. Or gives them an extra deck slot. Yes. <laughs> Can affect the other go in the, like, in the extra? It realistically... Oh, I think it's a Link Reaver. No, no, I did. Oh. It's just yeah. the joke of when the OCG lost their cards, they just put in effect Veilers. Oh, yes. It was a funny yes, so. joke. Yeah, yeah. The, it was uh, for a pause. Yeah. The only thing that's realistic <laughs> stops is, like, the turn three impact. It stops the grind. Yeah. yeah. It stops that when you're pushing for game. Yeah. Um, because you can just make anima in the start of the combo. Yes. You can just still make anima with your uh, poplar, put it in the back row, keep going. I, 
the that part of the combo always like you almost rather just go into the link two with the poplar and the and the dragon, and then just do that bit there. Like in the oh, pl- you can yeah, yeah. Like it's just like there's the, that combos always seem to be a bit stronger and probably like so you're not even you won't even be burning an animal at this point. Like in Master lately, I've been doing the whole make. I've just been fucking around just to see where my combos yeah. end up. Yeah. And at times I've been making like IP and then making the Link Reaper afterwards to its zone. Yeah. Just to be like, ah, fuck it. It'll work. And it does. Well, clearly you and I have never versed on Master Duel because if my hand has like no interactions and the Snake Eyes player like opens combo, I just quit. Most people wait for me to finish the combo and then I'm like, hmm. I think it's because like there's still probably a duality of people that like fuck know what up. they're doing with Snake yeah. Eyes and those that don't. I had uh, the the twenty seven, um, yeah. So princess, world C, and uh, God knows what else. I attack with the other two, so they're exactly on two five. And on the last attack, then they surrender. I'm like, I've had eight k on board this yeah, whole time. You mate. could have just taken the damage <laughs> and gotten the points towards the battle pass if you're still doing it. Yeah, it's like the the eight thousands all has been on the board for the yeah. for about two minutes while I'm sitting here going. Uh... Maybe they don't know that there's that little button you can press to, like, tally how much damage is on board. Yeah. There's a button you can press to tally damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you press a button, it'll tell you the total attack stats of what you have, the total attack stats slash defense stats of what your opponent has. What if that doesn't exist on mobile? (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. Um, but the other two interesting ones, uh, Baron de Fleur, um, yeah. people suspected because of how easy it was to make that that may cop it eventually. I think it was maybe a year ago that people were calling for this. Yeah. Um, and then Savage, uh, again, a bit left field, but I kind of get it. Like You're effectively taking the two synchros that they would make off their inboard. So yeah. now, like, it just means that fire loses to blowout cards. Yay! Like, oh, I'm sure there's ways around it. Oh, yeah. yeah the, this version of file, else. like, yeah. yeah. It's, there will be, there's going to be a whole bunch of other shit. But yeah, like, uh, Borrel is a, like, is a good hit because I found myself going, oh, even in the scrap variant, uh, it's just like, <laughs> oh, I should, there's no world that I run any other re- Synchro 8 because this Can, is better. You can't activate evenly matched after you said it. If you're. You can't set evenly matched and then activate it at the same turn, can you? Are you talking about off thrust? No, like, if you just have it in hand and you're forced to set it, you can't then activate it in the battle phase. Okay, they have a way to stop from getting hit with light. Yeah. You can still dark rule them, but... Which, I mean, but you can dark rule a lot of things. Yeah. So, eh? Like, you can also still, like, pregeki them, lightning storm them. Well, you pop the regeki set. What was the whole thing about the setting that evenly matched? Uh, well, you see the new support card for uh, Fike, oh, not Viking, uh, Snake Eyes, uh, forces spell and traps to be set. Ah. Yes. Okay. So it has the Dear Bells yes. thing in it. No, it is just Dear Bells. Ah. But how do they get to it? Uh, incredibly easily. <laughs> now you just make it as a part of the combo. But it, what? Dear Bells. The illusion monster? Yes. Huh? You can but just how, make but, it. But, but how? How does one get to this card? There's a way to get to that and the trap during the combo now. Okay. Sure. Like you set the trap instead of the field spell. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but yeah, um, I will learn what Snake Eyes does later, maybe. Uh, we just keep surrendering. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, moving oh. on to Limited, we start with Arch Nemesis Protoss, uh, having come from Band to One. Title, Ruler of Dragon Waterfalls. Uh, now at one, Ben. Dun, dun, one. Dun, 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 yes. Dun, dun, dun. It was zero before. I'm, I'm just double checking because you're level you. seven dragons, you get a little confused. You predicted this, yes. Yeah. We all predicted this. Maybe. Thunder Dragon Colossus from Band to One. <laughs> so many Protoss and Colossus should not have come back. No. They're probably more, they're, well. I'm not sure the Protoss. I don't think the Colossus is going to be that major. <laughs> let's let's so see. They, let's see how I feel about that sentence in a month. In three but, months, do they ban Nemesis Corridor? <laughs> maybe. Just make it way less splashable. Yeah. Um, Magispector Unicorn. Back to one. Uh, it He's back, back, baby. Yeah, it should have been back last. Yeah, it should it should have been back, but I hate it. So screw you, Andrew. 
<laughs> he got two cards back. He yep. did. Yep. He did. Uh, chicken game. Limited. Should not have come back. Yeah. Absolutely not. No, yeah. I can... As, as With we're, Rooney as still in the format, morning. I do not want chicken game in the format. I just don't. Why? Because I don't like Runic. Okay. Deck stinky. Yeah, but if they put chicken game out, their fountain's not there anymore. Oh no, there's no way they could possibly get their fountain back. Yeah, but I think when they put them in bin, they don't have an easy way to get them back. They summon a Gary... fusion, which adds them back. I thought that added back just continuous. No. Or is it just non-quick plays? Just non-quick plays, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they definitely have recursion from Grave. Um, Let's deal with the Gary. <clears throat> And then anti spell fragrance to one, which is fine. Good because again, they can just get D bills now. Yeah, you can't go limiting all the other floodgates and leave that alone. It just doesn't make sense with prisoners. It's okay. Now we go back to playing lose one turn. No, maybe royal oppression. Oh, please no. Give me royal <laughs> decree. No. <laughs> Try again to zero because they always open it. Motherfuckers. Um, it's weird though that anti spell, which arguably has seen more prolonged play. Imperial Iron Wall. I mean, you could. You could do that if you'd like. Stops your opponent from getting a banished card for the use of the Protoss. Not to. Not the same on Protoss, the other card. Stops evenly matched. It does stop evenly matched. It does stop evenly matched. But so does D Bells, apparently. Yeah. Um, what but, if it's just spell cards have to be set? I'm pretty sure it's spell and traps. Bastard. But anyway. Um, so, the point I was making is it's weird that anti-spell, which has seen more prolonged play inside decks, going to one, but summon limit, which has seen a lot of play, but in a very small time period, yes. being the snake eyes period, getting banned. I find it interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, title was like, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't... I'm scared about Protoss. Yeah, you should be. You should be. Well, yeah, because most of... There's very few of my decks that are, like, across types. <laughs> it's very much locked in at one attribute, and then that's it. Well, so, luckily, we'll be all be playing water. So oh, True, yes. Fast approaching the year Actually, of water. Actually, that's a good point. Pro, like, with the amount of random fire rubbish getting around, that then pivots between dark and light as well. Like, you, you probably could just get around it. But I also don't know how you out it completely, so... Ugh. What, the Protoss? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, moving on to Lin... It's a big Zimilis. call. Big call. Do they know something we don't know about Arch, uh, Arch Nemesis support? Maybe. Oh, It'd be nice oh. if we got some support. Oh, no. Maybe not for the floodgatey side of things, but I always liked the idea of the nemesis stuff, like recycling stuff, summoning stuff. Yeah. It was just, it was oh. literally just the floodgates. Uh, the answer to your question, or to my, my question, is the trap just summons it from deck. Oh, like, it just summons an illusion? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, there's That's... no longer a negate for that, so you could ash that potentially. Yeah, it's fine. Semi limits Armageddon Knight and Pearly Delicious Memory. Pearly? Yes. Armageddon might, I guess so. Yeah, like, uh, being that it's old out of the picture now, like a lot of the warrior stuff that maybe would have been a problem before is probably fine now. Curious they did this and malicious to three. Mm. One since the other. Link and Metiri. One then, card, Boral Sword. <laughs> and then. One card, Access Code. True. Uh, unlimited, as you mentioned, malicious. Harp Horror. That's the biggest life swarm bait ever. <laughs> uh, Terra Top and Engage. Woo! And yeah, we just give everyone an extender. Sick. I don't like Engage being back at three. Just play it in August. No, it's bad in August. It, but, but it extends. Literally the reason it all got banned. It extends. Yeah. How long ago? Four years ago? Extend! Yeah, a lot's changed since then. You sure you don't want a dark monster on your board? Fire yes. monster? Water monster? Whatever your valid monster you want? It's free. It's not free. Nothing's free, Brad. Don't be silly. It's it especially is, free if you have spells in your grave. Literally free. <laughs> nah. Um, Mally being back to three, uh, how long until it goes back to two? Oh, next ban list. Yeah, as, <laughs> as a submission, whenever it goes to three, not long. 
And yeah, Harp and Teratop are doing nothing at their current things, so by all means, three, it's fine. You've got some support. Invoker's still banned, yeah. Yes. And yeah. Saber Invoker. Yeah, so yeah, Teratop can do whatever the hell it wants. I think Invoker can come back at this, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like, what Beast War are you going to summon from deck that's going to hurt your opponent? I'm sure there's something. Uh, Tribe Gate. Yeah, sure. Won't hurt him, but. Give him a They were like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> I just like Oh, it. hang on. Is it Earth type it has to summon? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't think there's any Earth. I think it's. They're going to summon a zoo card. Fire, wind. What's Karis? Oh. Uh -huh. Is Karis a beast warrior? Karis is a beast warrior. I think it's a fire. Because it's dark. It could be an Earth. I think it's an Earth. Anywho. Or is it a level 4? It's definitely a level 2. Because it, it was. Have to summon level... Oh, it's level 4 or lower. Drag dude to search? No. No, he's checking We're in the messages. Wait, for, wait, for Invoker? No, 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 no. It, doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Let's try again. No one gives a shit. Um, so, a couple of things with this list. Yes. Obviously, they're addressing everything around Snake Eyes as opposed to Snake Eyes because D-Bells is coming out. They want people to keep playing it. They want to sell the tins. Yes. So, eventually, we will see this engine hit. Maybe some of this stuff will come back, like Barone and Savage and stuff, when it's not as obnoxious. Maybe. But in the meantime, we just have to not have negates. Do you even need to play the... I don't even think you need to play the spell that summons level 1 from deck anymore in Snake Eyes. Because you can just get the trap. It's on the D-Boss. Like, what level 1 are you summoning from deck off the spell card that matters? Ash? Uh, yeah, but like, in situations where you just have that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you play it just in case you yeah. don't have that. Yeah, yeah. It's you. Just in case. Hmm. Okay. Um... Another thing, they did not get rid of the turn skip card. None of them. They added more. Yeah, in fact, yeah, now, if you're playing darks, you're fucked. So, it feels... How's it feel, Jake? Mm, it's not great. How long do you get uh, Protoss called dark? Mm, yeah, we'll see. Um, I might switch over to something else. I won't say what it is, just in case people Protoss decide... Call Sh shut up. <laughs> Wait, no, you shut your face. still Protoss called dark? <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, um, it feels a lot like the first uh, tier element list that they came out with. It was just trying to flood the format with other stuff yeah. without hitting tier to give everything else a chance. Like when Macro and D Fissure went to 3 and all that stuff. So it just feels like they're doing everything they can to not hit the engine that's going to make the money when the reprints come around. Have you looked at how much Heatwave costs now, by the way? I have, yeah. Yeah, he waved a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money. Oh, we should look for those. Oh, Protoss called fire look. in the next format. It's going to be massive. Wait, how much money You've got to put a fire on your end board, though. If yeah, you're but... going into someone and you go fire, call fire, you've just won. <laughs> Here's the thing. There's a nemesis that's fire that searches Protoss. Okay. Yeah, it has to be on your board. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Anyway, we can take Anyway. Where my tabs? Where the tabs? Where the tabs are? So, um, just before the ban list got announced, we got a new <laughs> card from the Infinite Forbidden. Uh, so this one is called Vespa Gisu. Uh, so it's a quick play spell. Uh, if your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do, uh, your opponent sends any number of monsters they control to the graveyard. Also, apply this effect based on the number of monsters they control. Uh, so if they're down to zero, you lose half your life points. Mm -hmm. If they're down to one, your opponent gains 2,000 life points. So they mm. go up to 10k, in theory. Uh, if they still have two, banish your opponent's entire hand face up until the end phase. And if they have three or more, your opponent cannot activate monster effects for the rest of the turn. Does it apply in sequence, or is it just one effect? No, it depends on how many monsters they've kept. Okay. Because it's not like two or more, three or more, it's just... Um, I like it. Yeah. It's worse now that I realise that it's monsters. I thought it was cards. Yeah, no, monsters. Monsters. Yeah. And yeah, that's seen Infinite Forbidden as well. Um, artwork has Gisu, uh, the Galatea, and uh, Nightmare Idli, the big Hydra looking thing. I like it. It's a cool card. I'm just there's so many fucking ads on <laughs> So many ads. Now that we're playing it down below, there are so many ads. 
Um, we also got our first hints at the Animation Chronicle for the OCG. Uh, so they're getting a few new cards. Uh, the first one is a kind of hand trap. Well, it is a hand trap, it's just not a good hand trap. Kind of thing. Uh, so when your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, discard this card in a spell, destroy that monster. And then, Singularity thing. Yeah. I, I don't mind it. Yeah. Like, there's definitely worse value cards. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a level one Dark Fiend. Yes. Which I think is relevant for something. Well, Fiend stuff can do stuff with that because it has zero attack and defense. Yeah. Like, if they just get stuck with it in hand, they can use this link material. Um, then we get Ent oh, Ancient Gear Statue. I nearly read the OCG name. Um, so, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon this card from your hand. Tribute this card, special summon an Ancient Gear Golem or a monster that mentions it except for itself from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. I thought you were just going to straight up read the Japanese. I was like, damn, Jake. <laughs> Culture. He's been doing that Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> the owl that haunts me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's... Poor Duolingo owl. <laughs> I've realised that the, the like icon on your home screen gets like sadder and sadder the longer it's been since you've opened it. Actually, out. yeah. Like just sitting in the home screen, it looks yeah. sadder. It's it's got like eighteen bags under its eyes. Oh, wow, wow. It's <laughs> like, That's amazing. I haven't, I haven't opened this app since like July last year. Uh, we get a rank 3, Antidote Nurse. Uh, quick effect, uh, detach material from this card, then target a monster whose attack and defense is different from its original. Its uh, stats become its original attack and defense, and if you targeted a monster you control that activation, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Eh. Uh, once per turn, if another monster or monster is special summoned to your field, and this card has 3 or more materials, you can make that monster gain 900 attack. It's not amazing. Uh, this one I know is bad, so I'm not going to bother reading that. Uh, but then we get an alternate artwork for Silent Magician level 8. And you angry reacted it in our group chat. Why? I angry reacted. I angry reacted. Didn't need it. No. Other art better. Yeah, get out of here. Give me an illusion. We don't need evil art. This should have been an illusion one. Yeah, they could have used that art for a <laughs> better card. Should have been a retrain. Uh, well, I, I, mean, I don't one... think Silent Magician needs ah. any more retrains. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's enough. Um, so we circle back around to Master Duel as we do. Uh, as of April 11th, there was a big update. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a Pearly Mate, which I didn't realize until someone had played it against me, and I saw it. I was like, ah. Oh, I like I the like, like the weird cell shading. I was like, yeah, oh, the, that's kind of cool. It's yeah, it looks completely different to every other mate. Oh, I might grab it then. I might finally stop using Ash. It's a premium mate. Yeah, it costs oh. you an extra hundred gems. Yeah, I'll pay 100 gems for Perlin. Is it a premium, mate? No, it's only 300. It's the standard, mate. Yes. The premiums are five. I also just made up the fact that it was 100 more. But <laughs> here we are pointing fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get a new Protector Nightmare Magician, uh, because illusions and stuff have been added. Uh, a wallpaper of uh, Visus, which no one cares about. Uh, a field part for Jar of Metamorphosis, with I, some weird yeah, nonsense here. Yeah, I didn't here. like the fact that they called it Jar of Metamorphosis and didn't have Metamorphosis on it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, yeah, I'm not about it. Isn't it? Um, what? Why is it called Metamorphosis? I don't know. I don't it's Morphin know. Jar. Depicting a strange Maybe monster that, that resembles a jar or bottle. So, yeah, no. Uh, I'm not paying 100 gems for that. Uh, we get some secret packs, um, or updates rather. So, we get the new one for Rescue Team Emergency Dispatch. The firemen have arrived in Master Duel, finally! Well, the it's, good ones. Isn't that the happiest Jake's ever been for fire? I know. Men. Because I can surrender immediately and move on with my life. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they finally, finally get Emergency and the other one, Preventer. Uh, and they have full power Snake Eyes, so the world is their oyster. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other stuff in there, but I just don't care enough. Uh, a Dance to the Heavens is a new secret pack. Uh, Makunko, I'm assuming get their new stuff, but I don't know enough about Makunko to know if they got their new stuff. It's a Mikanko. I believe so. Were they missing anything? Were they missing anything? Oh, they might have had one of the new traps and the other ritual. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other ritual being released as a super and a trap. Yeah. Which I don't think anyone is, ever yeah, played the other completely irrelevant. I played against it today and my opponent oh. ghost ogred my uh, IP. And I was like, huh. 
His Makanko equip is still equipped to my Link 4. Anyway, I'm going to Ash Blossom that. And he was like, and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Pearly get a pack. Uh, my cute, lovely friends. Uh, so they get uh, the new, the baby noir and I think the other... The other trap. The other yeah. trap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure there's other stuff that in there that's important. But the Nightmare Arrives is a new selection pack, I think. Yeah, selection pack. Uh, so all the Nightmare stuff gets in there. We get the new Altergeist link. We get a, a Volzar Lars oh. in there for Dinos. Finally. Except I don't know if they got the other Evolzar. No, they did. They yeah, did. the other trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Evolzar stuffs are also in there. Uh, randomly, the Drytron Arctic level sevens also in this pack. Uh, give it to it already. Yeah, but it's you in there. Print it all. It's irrelevant. Uh, and then some other strays have been added, but yeah, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. Um... No, n missing heaps of the illusion support was kind of like rough. That deck won't be able to do much. <clears throat> it will just be branded stuff, and if you're doing branded with the illusion stuff, just play branded. Right. Yeah, that's yes. fine. It's nice to have a bit of diversity rather than just standard branded. And also, branded fusion being a one means it is nice to have a supplementary engine if everything goes to shit. Yeah, maybe. But also, you just couldn't, you just don't wait for Master Tao, the best card in the game. It'll be there eventually. Relax. Um, so, a little while ago we mentioned that the OCG were getting the Tactical Tri decks. Uh, we have our first one's uh, full set list having been announced now for Cyber Dragon. Oh, I thought when it was Tactical Tri, I think it meant for the three heads. What? Because it's got fucking Chimera over... Oh yeah, we meant to get three of these. There's four different ones, oh. That's I not think. how Tri works. With a Y, Ben. Yeah. Oh. Different word in it. Ah, I forgot. English? No, why? <laughs> anyway, uh, so looks fairly standard, but it does actually give some really good generic stuff. Like they get King Regulus in there, they get Galaxy Soldiers in there, uh, Ash Blossoms, Maxis. Yeah, I get sometimes you, you just play two, sometimes yeah. you play three. Um, they get Clockwork Knights. Tactics and Thrust. The Quirk Quirk Knight is a good reprint. Uh, Feather Duster and Lightning Storm. And yep. a Droplet. Like, some red reboot. Wouldn't that be nice? This, this, should, just be, <laughs> this should just be decks that we can buy. It would be Please. so good if the Please. TCG did these. What generic extra stuff do they have? Uh, Almirage and, oh. Az and Azalea. Yeah, sure. Just 10 cards in the extract though? I don't, I don't hate that because it gives you 10 to start and then you can supplement it with another five yeah. generic -y kind of thing. But you're I, also going to cut that's really... half of what they've given you. Maybe not though. You're not going to cut Cyber Twin Dragon? No, that's funny. Chop. <laughs> Chop. I, I actually really appreciate that they've done this because it's like... When they first announced it, I literally thought it was just going to be like our two-player starter deck. So it's just going to be... a bunch yeah. of garbage they threw at it. Of course. But this actually seems like... It's a, an OCG, of course it's going to be great. It's a really good product. Care about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's that. I'll so, buy one of these when we're over there next. That'd be really... That, yeah, it'd be awesome if we got something like that in the TCG. This is the kind of product that you could, like, you, you fly to Japan, you see a locals, you buy that, you play it. Yes. However... <laughs> not if you're white. <laughs> you're allowed to play locals. Yeah. Oh, you're allowed to play locals? Yeah, you're just not allowed to go to YCS. I imagine they shame you and bully you. You're allowed to go to regionals, but you don't. You're not allowed to go to the WCU. No. I or, mean that kind of makes sense. Oh, the yeah, context of which I was given it to is that like it was literally just a ban on no, white people like everywhere. No, it's like tier two events. Okay. Yeah. Look, the YCS is the big one. The WCQ, like no one should be expecting them to their WCQ. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. YCS mm -hmm. though. Maybe because you got points from YCS. Maybe. Oh, we should probably ban OCG players from our YCSs then. Yes. Yeah, that'll definitely actually happen. no. Well, I mean. You can't just let people qualify in two different regions. That's strange. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to go on that. Yeah. <laughs> Wise call. Um, uh, someone will explain soon. My for you, no click. There we go. Um, <laughs> we have another card from Infinite Forbidden. Uh, this one is called Cosmo Queen, the Queen of oh. Prayers. 
so this one is a retrain of the Macca's promo from years ago that I have always wanted but never chased up. Um, so this one, uh, if your field spell is activated, special summon this card from your hand in defense. Uh, you can target one face up card in the field zone, then activate this effect based on its controller. If you control it, destroy it, and if you do, add a field spell with a different name, so just Ancient Fairy Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, if your opponent, negate that target's effects until the end of this turn, if you do, add a field spell from your deck to your hand. Cosmo Queen was the original? Yeah, Cosmo Queen was the original. Yeah. Weird, I just don't, I just didn't know about the the field spell stuff. Isn't she, she's meant to be with um, the Yugi's grandpa deck. So does this work with that stuff that we got? The, the sarcophagus, Exodia, man with the items, or golem with the items. Probably. There's, there's, I don't, there's uh, no field spell in that, is there? It's not weird to go, oh yeah, like... All that stuff sucks, so like, they can give them whatever. Well, given that it was a vanilla back in the day, like, you can give it any effect and it's fine. Um, Scarf was only ever good in... Big Russian? Oh, uh, I mean... Whatever the... Dual Links. That was good if you couldn't... It was good if you... It was the second biggest of Blue Eyes at one point. Mm. That's why it was good in Dual, dual Links. It was a Spellcaster as well. I don't mind it. Level 8 Dark Spellcaster does stuff with field spells. It's cool. I like it. Uh, and then we get the support having been announced for the Ashened Archetype. Yeah. It's Actually, yeah. I don't know if this will have all the cards that I want. I don't think it does. Uh, yeah, yeah. which I'm not now. You mean, the yeah. trap is what matters. Yeah. So we knew about the fusion already. Oh my Why God. is it not loading? I don't oh. know. There we go. It's loaded now. Well, there's only two cards though. That's yeah, the so that's not the... That's not the thing. <sighs> the, the trap is the super poly. I'm disappointed that the spell isn't the super poly, but I guess it only changes your opponent's monsters to pyro during... Wait, no, it changes during your turn. They turn to pyros. Yes. Right? So the spell should have probably been the super poly. This A little annoying. The link that I want. Jake's searching frantically for these cards. Anyway, uh, they got new support, it's okay, but we'll wait until the OCG get their stuff to work out whether it's, it's actually going to be good. All based around the fusion. <clears throat> the fusion is good. The only issue is that the fusion is not easy. You have the trap. Well, I guess you, make, it, you set the trap on your opponent's turn, and it comes back to you and you can go bang, drop him. It's a bit of work. But you can fuse from both sides, yeah? Just yeah, the yeah, trap. Yeah. The spell can't. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Which is the problem. Uh, and then, to the joy of uh, maybe three people, uh, we get the announcement of the Tachyon Galaxy Eye support. Yep. Uh, so they get a new level eight. Um, the other random dragon on the front of that pack was just Tachyon More Tachyon dragon. stuff. Oh, wait, it was literally just Tachyon oh, dragon. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was the old side. Uh, so yeah, this one, uh, special as itself if you control another uh, Xyz dragon. Uh, it searches a Tachyon spell or trap, so the counter trap that has always been kind of bonkers in that deck is now Tachyon live. Transmigration prophecy. Yeah, just transmigration. I think. I don't think it's a prophecy. I well, think so it, that is a I transmigration card. No, Tachyon. That's a Tachyon card. It's Tachyon transmigration. No prophecy. He can't. Well, yeah, he can't say. No. You can't say transmigration, not say prophecy. Doesn't well, you sense. can because it's not. <laughs> it's not what the card is. Well. Am I thinking of two different cards? Well, yeah, yeah Trans Transmigration Prophecy, Prophecy okay. is another card. <laughs> okay. Which is very much not a card. I always thought they were all one card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they get another level four. Uh, this one has the... Uh, oh, pop, the Poplar. The Poplar uh, <laughs> thing. If it's added, it special summons itself. Uh, and then if you special a... It should have, uh, that should have also been the card that searched the trap. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, just make it literally popular. Poplar. Um, then popular. if you special summon a Dragon Xyz while it's in the graveyard, target one of them, attach this, uh, to it as material. Um, another level 8. Uh, if you control no monsters or your opponent controls... Oh. Apparently there's a Hondo oh. and Naura. Woo! That's um, okay. That part is cut out from the top of the screen. Button. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Um, so, if you control no monsters or your opponent controls no monsters with 2,000 more attacks, special summon this card from your hand. If you do, special summon one level 8 light or dark dragon monster from your deck in defense position, except itself, but its effects are negated. Yeah. Finally, this card is good. Well, the breed. And then... Uh, What's his name? The card the no, no, the one before, it's based off that other random Oh, starter. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, its name was uh, Schwarzwald Infinity Dragon, yeah. so just Schwarzwald. 
Fastwild Dragon. Fastwild. Uh, Draglugion. Yep. Uh, new retrain of uh, Draglubian. Draglubian and Dragulion, yep. I think. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Dragon. Um, so this one cheats out um, a uh, rank 8 Xyz from the extra deck uh, and then attaches stuff from it. Um, I'm just gliding over these because I know no one really cares. Um, Tachyon's... There's one card here that's good. The rest... It, it's all fine for the archetype, it's just... It the feels archetype's out the boring. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Tachyon Spiral of Destruction, I feel like it's like that Odd Eyes Spiral card that like does multiple things. Um, so, uh, activate one of these effects, but you can only use one each per turn. Uh, if you control the Galaxy Xyz, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls whose effects are negated. Uh, target a Tachyon card in your graveyard, except for itself, add it back to your hand. Target a Dragon Number monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense. Okay, sure. Uh, and then a trap, um, can only activate, if you control Tachyon monster, activate the card from your hand. During the battle phase, detach one material from your Galaxy Eyes Xyz. Uh, if you control a number C monster, uh, its activation and effect cannot be negated. Shuffle all monsters your opponent controls, oh, normal C, or yeah, special summon. C. I was like, C monster of Theseus support? <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle all monsters your opponent controls, normal or special summon, this turn into the deck. Yeah, sure. It requires you have a number C, that's a, annoying to summon. I mean, hopefully with all the stuff that they've got going on, it'd be a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, and then Tachyon Dragon gets a alternate art, which is the other dragon that we saw on the pack, as Bragg mentioned before. 107. Oh, really good card. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. It's really good. The cards it's you put great. on top of it are better. Yeah. Uh, we already went through that. Uh, so, uh, Tempai got two new cards of support, both really good. Uh, so the monster is uh, loading. <laughs> there we go. Do you know the English name yet? Oh, that is... Okay. Uh, Tempai Dragon of Genroku. No, but do we know the English... Is, are they called Tempai over here? We don't know any of them. They're just, oh, they just... didn't do any no, no. I, have, I have an article that will tell us. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep, oh. yep, yep, yep. I skipped over it because I didn't think we were interested, but now you brought it up, so we are. Um, so, uh, Tempai of Genroku uh, has the Poplar uh, trigger as well. Uh, tribute this card, special summon one Tempai Dragon Monster from your deck except for itself. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except... Uh, Dragon monsters, uh -huh. uh, and also when it's <laughs> oh no, summon. and also it's a level three. But when you do the trigger effect, you can treat it as a tuner and increases level by one. Did, was Tempo making Savage on their first turn? Maybe. Have you made them yeah, go first? So, which is also, wrong. <clears throat> you should be heat waving. Yeah, you should just be heat wave. <laughs> I pass. <laughs> uh, so dumb. Uh, and then they also get a bonkers trap, uh, Sangen Kaihu. Uh, during the main phase, if all monsters you control are fire dragon monsters, minimum one, and or uh, your opponent controls more monsters than you do, end the main phase. Yes. Uh, if three or more the, attacks. All of the rules as well, so I can have a oh. no battle phase. Um, <laughs> if three or more attacks were declared this turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard, draw one card, then special summon any number of tempi monsters from your hand. Cut's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Still a trap, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see how far it goes. But they should just keep printing more and more cooked traps to see what it takes to make them more good. Um, so as you mentioned before, the name for the Tempai Dragons is Tempai. Sweet. In the TCG. Cool. Um, Wait, did we get the whole list of cards or is that just like a spell? These are the names. Uh, and they're just the 80, this. not the like, extra stuff that's getting imported. Yeah, but this, was whatever, in, whatever, blah, 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 but blah. this so, wasn't in our database, right? It was only in the OCG's database for some weird reason. So, um, what, what were they called? My bad. Just Tempai. Tempai, Tempai Dragon. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just reading the other ones that have also had changes. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, tri-type of uh, lizards and plants and things. Yep. They're now called Ragn Ragnarika. Oh, sure, Ragnarika. Cool. Sure. So, so because I will call him Rika. Which? What are the names of the last one cards, Jake? Uh, so there's a few of those. Uh, the well, worst yeah. one is uh, the one that I mentioned before, but I cannot find it now. Which one was Sneak Eyes Diablo Star? Hmm? Which card was Sneak Eyes Diablo Star? D Bells? Yeah. Uh, hang on. It's really hard to find because they're in alphabetical order and then because of the name changes I don't know where they go. Let's go back um, up. Aren't they in the set order? Surely you'll see our lights one. 
Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, you're right. They are in set order. Ah, uh, yes. So she is called Diabelle's the original Sin Keeper. Yep. Okay, sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so the fiend one is called Weiss, Light Sworn Archfiend. Yep. Uh, That's cool. You'd think they'd, you'd think they'd be together, man. I don't know. <laughs> Go back to 11. Is it? It is it just Snake Eyes, Diablo Snake Star? Snake Eyes, Diablo yeah. Star. Cool. And then what's above it? Does that not just say Light Sworn Dragon? Where? Above the Weiss. Go higher. This, we're on 12. Says, no, you, you've got... The Weiss, Light's Worn Dragonling. Oh, there we go, yes. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. It's okay. Light's Worn Dragonling, which is a phenomenally shit name. I like it. I hate it. The other day you told me I had a shit name and you told me the name, but you must have said it wrong? How would I have said Dragonling wrong? I don't know. Dragonling. You also didn't mention that it had Light's Worn in its name, and I've been in a panic thinking that it was mistranslated somehow, and it didn't have Somehow not Worn searchable, in its even though it's literally just a baby Judgment Dragon. Well, yeah. Well, I, I mean, would, more because Judgment I Dragon. I was sitting here being yeah. like, they're not searchable. What if this isn't searchable? Yeah. What if all of my testing I've been doing for the past three months is a waste? <laughs> oh, well, now I'm glad. Because it would. It, it's, a f it's funny. Well, it would, it would have to <laughs> include this as a Light Sworn Carnage effect if they did name it sure. something else. Cause in the OCD, it seems yeah. works the way that we've all been testing. Yeah. Um, what's the big dragon called? The big dragon. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think that state is Enlightenment. Hang on. Where'd it go? And... I made him go back to a page that's going to take him five years to navigate. Dragonling. God, I hope that's not it. What? Um, uh... Mizaka no Yaba, the Moonfang Dragon. That's surely not it. Um, Could be. No, it's just Enlightenment Dragon. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so, finally, uh, a while ago in the OCG was announced the complete file of the White Story, which was like just a big collection of the Albaz lore, we get uh, you got arts and stuff. No. Um, but we have now full details of it, so they get a brand new fusion in there. Uh, so this one is called Dogmatic Calamity Alba System uh, Dragon Fusion, standard, standard. Uh, so it's got 4,500 attackers opposed to the usual 25 slash 3k. Um, it's big. It's big. Uh, so the materials for it. Uh, a Fallen of Albaz and six monsters in your graveyard with different names. I thought it was cards in your grave. No, nope, six monsters. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because didn't we have the conversation? So the original, the hours? original one. There's been like three <laughs> mistranslations. Yeah, okay. The first one said six monsters mentioning Albaz. Yep. The second one said six cards mentioning Albaz. Oh, so it's, and then it's not this one. six monsters meant to mention nope. Albaz. Six no, monsters. just six monsters with different names. Ah, oh, it's fine. From the grave. From the grave. It's fine. Just put Albaz in Light Sworn and. True. Yeah, but then you got to banish them. Because it, it requires a fusion spell still. Yeah. It doesn't just go... Uh, yeah, yeah, but th there's th there's infinite ways of being able to do that in... Thingy. You don't yeah, you're so not in light spawn. <laughs> you, wait, but you can summon this off tier, yeah? Yeah. Well, don't you have to specifically banish the cards? Or is that uh, one, was that another mistranslation that I read? No, must first be fusion summoned. There's no conditions on its side. I thought it required you to banish the cards in your graveyard. No, no again, part of the initial mis mistranslation. Yeah. Uh, is, so, oh yeah. on the reread, I'm like, oh, this is straight out tier. Yeah, sure. That works. Yep, recycle six cards for free. Or do other things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. You must send one card from your extra deck to the graveyard to declare an attack with this card. Uh, I think original one said uh, a monster that mentioned Albaz as well, so this just sends any extra deck cards. So send your Entus, send your graveyard triggery thingies. Uh, and then once per turn, if you control this fusion summon monster and have six or more fusion monsters in your graveyard with different names that mention Fallen of Albaz as material, send all cards in both players' extra decks to the graveyard. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind it, it's like a big investment if you're not playing a tier. In tier, it's literally free. <laughs> you have to mill the Albas. Yeah. Oh no, how, how will we get Albas in the graveyard? Well, no, it says um, Albas can go from anywhere, though. Yeah. The other cards can go from graveyard. Yeah, but for the, the tier, yeah. yeah. Is it not just possible to plug in? Like, you know, just in the late game, activate brand infusion, send a tier card, make this. 
Maybe, maybe he'll still make this. Maybe? He's got 4,500 attack. Surely in a late game you might need that. Yeah, I'd, like the effect's fine. It's just for the investment of what you've put into it, I feel like it could do just a tad more. Okay. We've spoken too long about this card. Yeah. Uh, but the main reason well, I was bringing it up is because there's... The, I'm just... He's going to talk about the rest of the set. Yeah, that's Jake. you got to want him... Okay. Look, we let him. We let him run. Uh, anyway, he's got a, it's a whole he, bunch he of stuff. So stuff. there's 200 cards, well over 200 cards. They're getting ultras, quarter centuries, and the new card, as well as a nice book and some stuff in it. I just yeah. think it's cool. It'd be nice if we got some stuff yeah, like we, that in the TCG. 100. percent I wonder if this might be like a holiday thing we get. That'd be cool. Well, I'd we be didn't so get the in last mind. one, so I don't no. think we're getting this one. It just seems like they're just leaving so much money on the table. Last time we did the number, the number collection. Mm. As one of these, mm. and we did not get them. Also, nope. it was did not exist in Japan when I tried to find it. So this will also probably sell out very quickly and not be able to be purchased. Yeah, yeah, makes me sad. You have an eight month time, Jake. Yeah, it's also like three hundred dollars Australian before shipping, so it's like. <laughs> uh, but moving on from that, we move on to it's our. Still, there's, there's still a tab there. Huh? You definitely skipped over a tab. Yeah, but I do think it's a good tab. It's that new fucking deck, that forest deck. Oh, the forest deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, I clicked so, onto it before and then you immediately clicked off. Yeah, I didn't look at it though. Uh, so, next iteration of the Diablo Star line is the White Woods archetype. So, it's a synchro centric archetype. Uh, a lot of its stuff likes to be discarded because it then sets itself. Um, <laughs> it's basically pushing itself to end up being like just a synchro centric thing to mix in with other synchro stuff. The issue with that in the TCG is we just lost two of our best synchros. Well, so we just play these synchros. Yeah, but these synchros don't do anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> like from, from what I've read of them, they just enable you to make better synchros, of which we don't have. Make FA Dawn Drags, though. Uh, they're Dawn all Drags, isn't letters. that bad a card? Oh, yeah. Make... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> something. <laughs> well, yeah. That's, that's the issue. We have to make something. So the best deck that I can work out that it's sitting in at the moment is probably uh, Centurion. Yeah, sure, sure. And this stuff doesn't get started by Double Star either, right? There's, there's no, there's no. Um, there was one small like, like, overlap. Yeah, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't allow you to keep going, so it's annoying. Like they're making, they're going out of their way to make none of this lore interact with. Yeah, like, and all the arts interact. But the actual cards themselves, hard no. This but this uh, should must... like I get goblins because like they're they're fighting each other from what I can tell. This is she's it's she's literally Diablo stuff. They've just looked at the Visus thing like towards the end with like them like all overlapping with each other and having too much synergy together and just becoming a big thing. And they're just like we're yeah. never doing that again. No, we don't want Visus pile happening with. Yeah, but at the same time, if you're printing different versions of the same car of the same. The they should monster. Have given them all a card that was settable off Diablo Star. Yeah. Well, that's sort of what it yeah. was setting up in the beginning, and then they just decided not to do that. Yeah. We'll probably get them later. In five years. At the end, when they've limited every archetype, yeah. they'll be just like, oh, good when news, you can search Poplar. One, and they're like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, it sucks to you that one of the wanted hit. <laughs> As Ben said, it makes sense for them not to hit it because they've got too much riding on tin reprints and nothing else being good enough to actually sell them. Yeah. I thought we closed those windows. <laughs> ah, I don't believe it. It's fine. It's just a beep. People will be able to hear a faint beeping in the background. It is okay. Uh, so we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from 6 i 6 To what level of disposable income do you dis aspire? <laughs> I'd have to pay for this game. I just don't want to have to think about stuff. That's the level of money that I want. Like, I don't want to have to think, oh, could I do this at this point in the year? I just want to be able to, like, whack the money down and think about that later. I'd like to have a recording studio for this podcast. Yeah. That'd be cool. If only there was a way that we could generate income to do that. If only. That's three, three weeks in a row that's come up. Yeah. Mm. No one subscribes to our Patreon. Damn. Yeah, I know. That poor link. Down in the description below. Sitting there unclicked. 
definitely exists. Mm. Yep. <laughs> definitely. Um, next question. Next question. Uh, comes to us from Rickelodeon, who, as far as I know, is either a rename or a new listener. In other way. It's not fine. Rick. Or is it Rick? Hello, Rick. It's a weird time of uh, weird time in society to choose uh, Nickelodeon as a name. Yes, but we were. Thanks for being here, mm, Rick. Yeah, the timing is. Mm. Uh, Try our local. And a good side of Nickelodeon. <laughs> uh, so, uh, his question starts. Try out a local store here. Not sure oh, what here is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That one? Uh, asked if they had Yu-Gi-Oh, and they laughed at me. Said paper was dead, and that Master Duel made physical cards obsolete. You all have anything like this happen before? What did you say to the employee? Uh, I've seen that happen for Magic, but not Yu-Gi-Oh! here. I, I don't think I've ever heard a card store go, Oh, why would you buy paper cards? Why would you help us be open for two? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I spit on you. It, it seems very, like, that seems so silly. And, like, to yeah, a point, like, maybe there is a Pokemon point. Pokemon cards, Pokemon Live doesn't exist. There's no other reason to get Pokemon cards now. Absolutely none. Yes. Maybe the guy that was at that store has the level of income that we aspire to and he actually just wants people to stop coming into the store so as a real <laughs> the store down. just to bully people. <laughs> <laughs> that, there, there are people that I've run into that it feels like they have uh, gone into their place of business with the sole intent of just putting people down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... that's very silly. It doesn't seem like a good business proposition. But the same, like, you could say the same thing about yeah, every other card game, right? You could yeah. say it almost about any business. Oh, so do you have, like, any uh, pillows or sheets that I can buy? <laughs> no one sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Um, so there is two more questions uh one of them i skipped over last week uh but i will ask it now uh hey we went to do research for one of them weren't we oh the um eurovision which i still haven't done uh oh, i forgot to message um me. i had a quick gaze i'm not too big on our entry this year but i haven't been ever been too big on our entries but for the most part Europe's. not even jessica Mowboy. <sighs> like she deserved to be sent because it's just it's just a but at the same time I don't know I just prefer Eurovision to be a bit more cooked <laughs> yeah the Europeans do some outlandish shit like we always go in with like a ballad or something to make people feel good and then the and that's Croatians probably what, and that's will probably come what in with pot. pom-poms and fireworks and the poodles on pogos and thrusting saxophone men that was great that was my favourite Eurovision song I really like that song. That song's great. Yeah. That song's a banger. Which one was this? Eat Your Salad. That's the song that the, the oh, dog I'm nodding its head over is <laughs> Great. It's, it's a really good song. <laughs> no, I was making a joke. Uh, okay. Shout out Sunstroke Project. Okay. Jake's making a joke about the fact he doesn't eat pennies. Mm. The entire song is just I thought you watched track. enough Instagram reels to know that song. If it's a song I think about, I know what it is. Um, so, the question I skipped over last week uh, was from Raigai. You are now a Yu-Gi-Oh card. What is your type and attribute, stats and flavor text? Oh, <laughs> uh, Earth. It's an Earth monster. Yeah. Okay. Have you got any more info on that? Or? <laughs> uh, this is why I skipped it, but then I forgot to pop this too early. 1600? Yeah. Good for LOB standards. <laughs> no effect. Just just cooked flavor text. I'm a level six fire monster. Uh, I have a high attack but very low defense. He's Mr. Volcano. Very low defense. Twenty one hundred attack. One hundred defense. Volcano. No, Mr. Volcano. No, Mr. Volcano's two. Uh, how about you, Jacob? Oh, uh, oh, it would be a dark spell caster of yeah. some sort. Yeah. Level depending on how angry I am, um, and then the flavor text would probably be some level of profanity in bold. I'm a fusion monster of two bricks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one brick, one 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 brick that's had a good retrain. How good's trauma? <laughs> 
But that concludes us. Uh, oh, sorry. No, there is one more question. 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 Oh, then, yeah. I've got it. And the poll. Yeah. One more question. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was your favorite hit from the band list? Yep. That's our question for this week. Uh, last week's poll result, oh, my God, was uh, what water monster do you want to see retrained? I forget the other two options that people uh, hated, but Necroz got 50% of the votes. Paleo Zoe got the other 50. Okay. Who would have thought our audience would be paleo fans? Hi. <laughs> it was just, it was just two votes, Ben and one other person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last question this week comes to us from Bragio. Will Perth get Oshis or a YCE? No. Oh, did I say YCE? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. Um, I wouldn't hate it to be honest. I'd hate it. Uh, it is so goddamn easy to get to that convention center. Like because. Yeah, Small. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I would When's almost. Longer getting a YCS? Yeah, oh, I mean, I would rather well, go and get one, but I would but rather go to. Center? I would now rather go to Perth than New Zealand. That's yeah, cool. Because yeah, it's well, just so you the same, don't have to get a passport. The flights are. Do you need a passport to go to New Zealand? Yeah, that was a genuine question because I don't know if we have passport free travel with one. I think you still have to have a passport. Yeah. You no just visa. don't have to have a visa. I know you don't have to have a visa. You don't have to have a visa to go to most places for us. Yeah, people like us. Yeah. Just go to Japan, just walk in. I thought it was so strange to go to another country and not have a visa. Yeah, I'd I, have a I visa to go to New Guinea. That is weird. I Actually, put, I travelled all through Europe and we didn't need a... Uh, you win it. Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Britain, you bust. Yeah, like, I wouldn't want them to get, like, the only YCS of the year. But, like... <laughs> If so Perth if we got a supplementary one, you'd want it to be in Perth. Look, if Perth Tourism is throwing around random money, surely they can spare, like, you know, 500 bucks to host it for them. <laughs> yep, that's, that's what a YCS costs. Sure, sure. I mean, considering they won't even chuck up a stream for us, it feels like that's what it costs. Whoever's the Premier of Perth, pay me, and yeah. I'll host the Yu-Gi-Oh event in Perth. Mark McGowan's successor. Let people into your state. Give me 20k in a venue. I'll put on a good 20K. show. 20k. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. I've got to put up 10k for prizes. I've got to look into who owns. my judges. This feels like that um, thing that happened in Sweden ages ago. They like commissioned a dude to make like an art piece and they gave him like $80,000 of, of cash. Run. And yeah, he just provided two empty frames saying, take the money and run. <laughs> Monorail. <laughs> Uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Uh, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, answer the poll, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.